This Fairfax, Virginia synagogue was the final stop for Iran's chief rabbi, Yehuda Garami, on a tour of U.S. Jewish communities to raise awareness about the situation of Jews in the Islamic Republic. There are about 9,000 Jews in Iran, according to the U.S. State Department. They live among 85 million people, 99% of whom are Muslims. Garami said that in recent years, his community has had some successes, like persuading Iranian authorities to let Jewish schools close on Saturdays for the Sabbath, the Jewish Day of Rest. Also, we now have about six kosher restaurants in Tehran with a higher observance of Jewish dietary laws than before. And we opened a Jewish seminary in Tehran for young men to learn to become rabbis. But Garami said his community also has been under financial pressures from Iran's high inflation and weak economy that affect Iranians as a whole. Asked how he feels about Iran's Islamist rulers engaging in low-level conflict with the Jewish state of Israel, where he studied in his youth, Garami responded cautiously. We always keep in mind that we have no interest in politics. We are Jews who only want to learn the Torah or Bible and perform good deeds as a religious duty. But there are times in which it is not easy to be a Jewish leader in Iran. Some Iranian-American Jewish commentators believe Garami is reluctant to criticize Iran's rulers for fear of provoking them to retaliate against himself or his congregants. Judaism is one of three minority religions that Iran's Islamist constitution allows to be practiced. The other two are Christianity and Zoroastrianism. But Iranian law bars Jews and other recognized minorities from serving in the judiciary and security services. It also threatens Jews with prison for visiting Israel, a country Iran repeatedly has said should be destroyed. Such calls contributed to the U.S. labeling Iran as the world's top state sponsor of anti-Semitism last year, according to then U.S. Deputy Special Envoy to Combat Anti-Semitism, Eli Kohanim. It's not only about their genocidal desire to quote-unquote eliminate Israel, to quote the Ayatollah Ali Khamenei himself, but also because they um, deny that the Holocaust ever took place, and thirdly, because of their terrorist proxy activity, um, whether it's funding and training Hamas in Gaza, Hezbollah in Lebanon, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and even the Houthis in Yemen. Iran had about 85,000 Jews at the time of its 1979 Islamic Revolution, according to Encyclopedia Iranica. Most fled Islamist rule by emigrating in the decades that followed. But thousands remain. Most Iranian Muslims treat them well, says Iranian-American journalist Carmel Melamed. They really don't look at um, their countrymen as far as their religion. Um, they, they respect them. They have a, there's a sense of tolerance. There's a sense of respect. Um, if they're neighbors, co-workers, friends. But Melamed says Iran's Jews still live under an Islamist government that treats them like second or third class citizens. Michael Lippin, VOA News, Fairfax, Virginia.